And it was all yellow I came along I wrote a song for you Yes Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs Please subscribe What's up Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Okay guys, sorry it seems like it's been forever since I've uploaded You won't believe what I did So I had a vlog filmed and it was of the Mabu High Squad farmhouse and I deleted it OMG, I am so sorry That's why it seems like it's been forever since we've last uploaded But guys, we're going to the farm We're going to the farm, the farm, the farm we're going to the farm farm, going to the farm farm. Yes, we're going to the Mobile High Squad farmhouse, guys. Happy to be back. Thank you. And guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog. And hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mobile High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Not so daily anymore. I'm sorry. We gotta, we gotta change that. See? We'll be your dose of positive vibes. <laughs> Online. All right, Mabu High Squad, we are here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Yes, beautiful day. And you know what, guys? I was looking at old pictures of this side of the house, which is the side of the home. And man, it looks so different. I remember when like this was not done. We didn't even have a roof. Oh, so grateful we're at this stage. Let's go inside. All right, guys. <gasps> the first floor is like housing so much stuff because we're in the finishing stage now so I mean there were always tiles kept here on the first floor but now there are really lots of tiles most of like these tiles here a lot of them way back there are for the roof deck because those are areas that need to be tiled and as well this first floor I think this first floor will be tiled possibly last along with the roof deck too uh, just so they don't get damaged there's RJ my man calling the shots we're going upstairs let's go upstairs we're gonna have stairs soon too guys these are just temporary oh guys one thing that I filmed in the deleted vlog <laughs> was the installation of this window awesome right look at it it's finally in this is our aviary um, on the other side this is a three-story aviary, see? I'm going to decorate it with branches, driftwood, and plants. Um, and fill it with some birds. What kind of birds or bird? Not sure yet, but we got time. But yay, see, so this is a full uh, floor-to-ceiling window. Now, I didn't want sliding windows on this side because I figure when you come up the stairs, I want our guests and myself to see full view of the aviary. Like no like middle bar, you know, blocking the view. No screen mesh blocking that view. Just floor to ceiling glass. So yeah, that's gonna be cool. Same as the other side, there's glass there. All right, this here is our second floor guest bathroom. Look how big it is, it's quite large. This is what I dreamed of for this bathroom. Really spacious. In fact, this is the biggest bathroom, even bigger than our master bathroom. So, you know, our guests can feel really pampered. Um, and we've got different tiling around. Now you might notice that they've got these streaks. So now that the tiles have been set for, I believe 21 days or 28 days, now they're gonna fill the spaces with grout. So that's what they're doing now. They filled these with grout. This is going to be removed and the little the grout will fill these spaces. So all of these like random lines will be gone. This is where the shower will be. And I love this like paneled wooden tiled area here. I think that's great. So a lot of the rooms and areas of this house have been inspired from um, places that RJ and I have traveled to around the world. Like for those of you who are old school OG Mabu High Squad, all of you guys who've been following us since like 2017-ish, 2016, um, you know we've been to a lot of places in our travels, uh, mostly because of touring, but also just from traveling around. So while we traveled and when we, you know, stayed at resorts and hotels, 
RJ and I took pictures of places that we really, really loved because we knew that come the day that we would build our house, we would want to, you know, draw inspiration from certain things. So um, a lot of these bathrooms and rooms, the things in this house are drawn from inspiration from resorts we've been to. And guys, look at this room. And it was all yellow, I came along. I wrote a song for you. Yes. I think this is my favorite of the guest bedrooms. Um, and I told Kathy, our interior designer, that I wanted this guest uh, bedroom to be warm and uh, sort of like inspiring and relaxing. Uh, because this window happens to be right in a great place for the sunset. So when the sun sets, the light comes streaming through this window and onto this wall. And it's just really beautiful and relaxing and uplifting and warm. So my vision for this room was a yellow room. And turns out this paint color is called Sunset Yellow. Perfect! I mean, it was meant to be. Uh, so yeah, they painted this room, guys. What do you think? I love this yellow. It reminds me of the house I grew up in, in Toronto, um, because we have, I think, a room that was this color. Um, and it's really, again, it's warm, it's relaxing, it's inspiring. And I think when it's fully decorated and stocked with furniture, the sunset streaming through here will just be so beautiful um, and it's good energy in this room guys and guys look at this room Whoa. all right so this room not sure if you guys can see it but this room is it's two colors this here is a I know it looks white on cam because my vlogging camera corrects the color but in real life it's like a slightly greenish white it's called Peaceful White, and it's almost like a really, really pale avocado color, this, this white here. Um, and these walls here, including the pillar in the middle and this, it's all this Peaceful White color. And this wall here will be a true green. It's gonna be a green wall. Not sure if we're going to be painting a mural here, but uh, we might and in fact, I'm thinking of painting a mural here. Love this guest room as well My vision for this guest room was a green room um, so uh, Collaborating with Kathy our interior designer. I think we're gonna turn this into like a tropical green um, Nature-ish room uh, Just something really tropical and jungle-ish uh, for those who are traveling to the Philippines from abroad, I think this room will help them feel like, ooh, they're in the tropics. Uh, so I'm thinking of possibly painting uh, a mural here. Did you guys know that I'm an artist too? We'll see. Otherwise, we might just do it the quick way and like use wallpaper. That's another option. We'll see. I can't wait. I also wanted it to be green and tropical and nature-ish because like, look, we're right in the treetops here. Literally outside, you'll see trees. If you literally sit here, we might put a stool or something that people, our guests could just sit down on. If they just sit here, they could bird watch because the birds come into the acacia tree. So it's a great place to bird watch. It's like this really beautiful panoramic treetop watching area. See that? I love it. They can even open the, the window and literally look <laughs> unobstructed at the tree. And um, sometimes foliage grows so thick, like it will come close and you could actually touch the tree. Oh, there's a bird right now. You guys see it? That right there is a sparrow, a house sparrow, way down there. You guys see it? A cute sparrow, a male. But guys, let me tell you, the birds here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse are awesome. I've seen bluebirds, like little kingfishers, beautiful um, native orioles that are like yellow and black. 
gorgeous. Um, we've seen uh, shrikes here, uh, all sorts of birds, cranes, beautiful native cranes that come here. And then when we have our pond, which will be constructed, and also our pool, which will be freshwater, I'm sure there will be mornings that we'll wake up and find cranes here. Of course, there are egrets around. Guys, the birds here are awesome. Especially because we're not in the city and like literally in our yard, we have a forest. Uh, so there's lots of really awesome native bird life all around. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. So they did the first coating for our bedroom. Okay, this is new. I don't know if you guys could see this, but this is like, it's like a cream white. Okay, so this is the color of our room, guys. Okay, I know you guys can't see it, but our my vlogging camera corrects it. It's a cream color, so yellowish white, like an off-white, uh, with a little tinge of what looks like green to my eyes. It's a nice color, I like it. Okay, here's a better view. So this is real white, because it hasn't been painted, this uh, pillar here. And that is the color of our bedroom. It's like an off-white. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, so, so peaceful and warm, relaxing. See, the ceiling is true white, and then our wall is like off-white. It's like a cream. All right, guys, so now they're working on the path from the master bathroom to our jacuzzi. You see that? It's going to be a pebble wash, as they call it. So they put the pebbles in with, uh, I guess, concrete or grout. And look, when they wipe it, it looks like that. A true pebble wash. How awesome. And these tiles, I don't know if you guys watched our sh house shopping vlog where we went shopping for these tiles. They're imported from India. And look, they contain fossils, guys. Fossilized plant life, like ancient prehistoric plants fossilized onto the tiles, the stepping stones. I was like, yes, I want the hum. Awesome. Isn't that cool? So that's how they do pebble wash floors. So as for the sliding doors of the aviary, see here, it was important that we needed sliding doors in the aviary because one, we need ventilation, guys. Like we need air to blow through and throughout the house. But also I want to places where we could open the windows to the aviary. Um, not only to interact with the birds, hey, come here, birdie, but also we needed a place where we could access the plant boxes where I plan on hanging, um, you know, like these little rings that stick out. I plan on hanging like plant boxes, a plant box so like plants can kind of hang. And so we need to water them, right? We can open them, pour water and maintain those plants through here. The aviary will also have a sprinkler system. Do you see that? There's like a, there's like all around, you'll see that line that they've carved into the concrete it goes down here and all around. Uh, there will be an irrigation system, which I'll probably set on a timer so it can rain within the aviary because you know, all you bird owners know how much birds love to shower. Well, most do anyway. Uh, and it'll be a great opportunity to just water the plants all in one shot. Uh, so, so yeah. That's another way the plants will be watered. So guys, we're here in the pet room, the ant room, where I plan on keeping all, it's kind of like a gallery style area, where I plan on keeping all my aquariums, tanks, exotic pets, all that kind of stuff that most people would be like scared of, <laughs> all in one place. Uh, so yeah, guys, we have stairs now, uh, going up to the second floor of the ant room. There are window frames, yes, uh, see? Window frames in the ant room that now we just need glass. See that? Window frames. Um, let's go upstairs. Let's go up to the second floor. We have a triangular first step, just like at our condo, guys. Cool. Okay, but no steps yet. So we gotta we gotta do some like Cirque du Soleil kind of stuff right now to climb this. Whoa. All right. Going up. Ooh. Awesome, second floor of the ant room. Guys, I have such great plans for decorating this second floor. You'll see these rectangular holes, which will be glass. This will be a glass floor. We'll be able to stand on top of the glass floor and look down. Um, and in this area here, we'll have a net floor. So we could crawl onto this net and we'll have some throw pillows on there. And you could just relax on like a hammock floor. 
and admire the gorgeous view outside of the bamboo forest. Again, treetops. This is actually the best view in the entire house. So maybe one day we might decide to move our master bedroom to this anteroom. <laughs> we'll see. Let's go see the roof deck. Haven't been up here for a while. Ooh, again, right at the treetops. Guys, there's gonna be a wall here. They had to break it down because they extended the house, the, the second floor further. Um, they were fixing a certain design. It actually made our master bedroom larger. But look, it's right at the treetops, right here. Love it. I love that I could see the top of this acacia tree. Our home is hugged by trees. So guys, here is a bathroom on the roof deck. See, little bathroom here with a window um, for when we have events and parties up here. People can go to the bathroom. They won't have to go inside the house and a sink and wash area. All right, gotta make sure I don't hurt myself. Can't wait for the steps to be installed. I'm also thinking to have this wall be interesting. Like maybe a nice mural or wallpaper of like, I don't know yet, ants or something, I don't know. Underground, something reminiscent of underground or plants, painting of plants. And I want it to extend all the way up to that, that wall as well. I don't know, we'll see. I might change my mind. What do you guys think? That would be nice, right? Guys, one thing I've noticed is they've completely rock cladded this side of the ant room. Whoa, stone cladding is, looks amazing. I don't know, to me, I love stone cladding. I've never lived in a home where the outside was stone cladded, um, but I'm obsessed with it. And it just looks really cool. I don't know, maybe because I'm in love with the earth. <laughs> I'm obsessed with stones and rocks and plants and all that. I think it looks so cool and nature-ish. What do you guys think? All right, guys, so look at the pebble wash pathway now. Awesome, it looks so cool. Interesting, I mean, I've always seen pebble wash, I've just never seen it made. How incredible. So when the grout has been added in between the spaces, it looks like this. They finished grouting the spaces here. Can't wait to see this finished bathroom. All right, guys, so let's see our positive affirmation for the past couple of days. Yes, we're in May now. Yay. I am open to new opportunities this month. I know that I am safe and well supported by the universe. I greet all experiences without judgment. It is such an exciting time to be alive. Let's see. Today I say thank you, life, for a delicious day. Ooh, delicious. Nice. And positive affirmation for today. My guides are always with me. I am safe. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. All right, guys, we're back home now. It's been another great and fun day at the Mobu High Squad Farmhouse. Getting closer. Yes, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Be sure to hit that like button again if you enjoyed it. And hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mobu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. See you in the next vlog, guys. Bye.